The really exciting thing for me as a scientist working in football with regards to the G5 unit is it possesses additional characteristics that have been built in that will recognise goalkeeper specific actions. So dives, repeated dives, short sprints followed by dives. Optimi G5 uses a goalkeeper specific algorithm based on our IMA platform to measure accelerations, decelerations, changes of direction, jumps, both height and frequency, uh, metabolic power, repeat high intensity efforts and return to feet after the goalkeeper dives. As it stands at the moment, the only device that gives you those algorithms is obviously the Catapult G5 unit. Goalkeepers have a unique training regime where they can do up to eight times more work in training compared to games, whereas field-based players generally match their training demands to the game demands. So now that we can actually track dives and goalkeeper specific sprints and the like, it puts a meaning to the information that we get. So it's not just general information that we're trying to apply to them, it's something that's been produced for goalkeepers as goalkeepers. Up until this point there hasn't been a way to accurately measure a goalkeeper's training load and arguably they're the most important player out on the pitch. Well I've been working with Catapult now for eight years. We've been quite intrinsically involved in the development of a number of the features that are specific to the Catapult software and quite closely involved certainly in the development of this G5 unit. So it's exciting times now for Catapult. It's an all-encompassing performance monitoring tool that captures micro movements that can't be seen by the human eye. This is an off-the-shelf technology, this is individually sourced electronics using intelligent algorithms to capture data and provide information that's never been obtainable before.